Okay, relax, the vagina muscles. <laughs> when it's that time of the month, I usually use pads. Day one, I'm like, oh shit, I have to run to CVS. And then I buy a whole box of tampons. Tampons are the main form of defense. <sighs> I just try and pray that it doesn't come, but it always does. I am a proud Diva Cup owner, enthusiast, guru, whatever. It's this cup and you fold it in half and you stick it on up there. It just catches the blood. Let's say I got my period in the morning, go the entire day with it in, and then at night I'm a night shower. So when I'm taking a shower, I'll just like take it out, dump it out, stick it back in. Oh, clean it, stick it back in. My Diva Cup right now is doing the best thing it could ever be doing. It is in me because I'm on my period. <laughs> What did I get myself into? My little diva cup. It's, uh, you know, really nice now when it's not covered in red mucousy blood. Oh my God, it looks like a little nipple. This is big. I feel like I'm gonna be walking around all day like I have a pull up my ass or something. How do you know when to change it out? Well. Oh my God, this is overwhelming. You little bastard. I will win this one. Maybe I should just shove it up and see what happens. Great. Okay. God, I'm sweating. Engaging kegels now. And, oh God, I, no, okay, I gotta start over again. I mean, this is, <laughs> I think this is a fail. Take two. How do you relax your vagina muscles? Okay, think about vacation. This is so hard. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I did it. I think I did it. It is in. I don't feel anything. What the fuck? I think that's pretty good. It's like a phantom in my vagina. It's pretty far up there. It's pretty sizable. <laughs> just to be like hanging around and not feeling anything. I just don't trust it. It basically, I put it in there and then my vag vagina was like <laughs> It's gone. It's, it's literally gone. All right, so I've been, you know, walking around, having a normal day. All is going well so far. I also feel like I have a secret that no one knows about. Definitely there were leaks. Uh, I'm just not good at this. For how difficult that thing was to get in, I have not felt it all day. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out, but we'll find out soon. Stay tuned. So just checked after lunch. There were still leaks um, and I'm out of panty liners. So stakes are high. I <sighs> just spent about 15 minutes trying to yank that shit out. I eventually had to use my Kegel muscles to really push it out. Okay, so the update is that I put this thing in after lunch. It's way too many hours later, and it's working great. So I'm here now after a week, I've lost my Diva Cup virginity. I have an appreciation um, for the Diva Cup versus using a pad. It was pretty awesome. The goal was to master the Diva Cup. Did I complete that goal? I don't think so. The nice part was being able to wear it pretty much the entire day without any fuss. It's just like a tampon. You don't you don't feel it and it just seems pretty convenient honestly. And I did have like one set of hours that was fantastic. It was like like six hours where it was working, it was doing all the things. I'm like, is it worth the few times that it doesn't? I don't know yet. The hard part I would say is like taking it out. I mean, that thing like really like sucks to you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really like a cup. Like you, you gotta like pull that shit out like a fuzz. Like, no, I feel like a gladiator. Like I fended off the bloody enemies and yeah, it feels great. I'm a pro diva cup user. Makes your period not quite as bad. Yeah. So it's it, right? I mean, it's definitely not out of me. <laughs> Something's in there.